So, um, yeah, this is totally news to me. And if you haven't been keeping up with the whole NBA scheduling drama, um, well, it seems that the sister league, and by sister I mean the little sister that tried and just is not doing very well <laughs> at what she's attempting to do, it, being the WNBA, you know, the schedule for 2020 for the WNBA season has come out. It's an Olympic year, so they'll be taking a month off anyway. Of course, there's was the new collective bargaining agreement that gave players, you know, paid maternity leave, put, put players' salaries at least at six figures. And obviously, I guess the NBA was just willing to shell out that type of money. Uh, we all know that the WNBA does not make any money whatsoever, and it's been proven for years and years now, and we don't need to go into that again. But the interesting thing is that the WNBA added in an in-season tournament, which is what the NBA has been trying to get through to us for a while now, and it, it, it has not received the reception that I thought it would, and it's a stupid idea anyway, um, as far as the NBA is concerned. But for the WNBA, it really doesn't change too many things. It's only an increase of two games. Um, honestly, my ideal NBA, let, let's just talk about the NBA scheduling quirks that I want at first. Obviously, you have four teams that you play in your division. You play them four times. Then you have the other, what, ten teams that you play three times. That's three games. You add on that 16, that's what, 46? And then you add on the 15 teams in the East, so that's 76. So 76 game season, that's what I want for the NBA. 76 game season. Uh, you can do the tournament with the 30 teams, but it's going to be a little hard. Um, you know, I, I don't really care about losing three home games for the Mavs if it means, you know, playing, you know, teams that we don't. And aren't our rivals and stuff like one like three times a year, you know, like the Lakers. We don't, we don't really have anything with the Lakers, and you know, we don't, with, with the Clippers. I might add, we don't really have anything with the Clippers. But this is not what this video is really about. It is about the 36 game schedule that the WNBA has now, and it's a weird little thing. It's called the Commissioner's Cup, where the players will have the opportunity to. Earn a small cash prize with a much larger prize to come in the future tournaments. And, you know, it's, it's a weird little thing. Um, but yeah, it's a weird little thing that's happening. Um, yeah, so it, the, the Commissioner's Cup will apparently start during the second half of the WNBA season which is on August 14th. These games apparently do not count towards the regular season, and we don't know where these games are going to be played. But it does say that the first home and first row regular season game against conference opponents will be considered a tournament game, and the schedule is composed so that each team will play its conference opponents at home once and on the road before the All-Star break. The leader in the cup standings for each conference will participate in an East versus West Commissioner's Cup. What's expected, again, to be a small prize, cash prize, and you don't know what the tie-breaking procedures of this is going to be. And I think this is just a test run. I think this is also just a test run to see, hey, can the NBA implement this in-season tournament? Um, but the pot, the, 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 um, the prize could be up potentially up to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which really isn't that much, um, you know, as far as like normal people goes and billionaires and stuff like that. Either. It's not a lot of money at all, um, but it is a big increase. Um, you know, some players don't even get paid five thousand dollars. I guarantee you. Um, yeah. 
So I think this is all just a ploy to see what the NBA can do with this in-season tournament idea. Do I think the WNBA in-season tournament is a good thing? Uh, I mean, I guess we'll have to see how it does first before we can, you know, just start um, saying, well, oh, well, well, this was a bad idea. We'll have to see how it goes first because, you know, um, it, it's a weird little thing and it's... Uh, it, it, it completely caught me off guard when I looked this up because I was just randomly looking at the WB schedule. Don't remind me, but um, it's a weird little thing, and who knows how long this will stay. Um, honestly, you know, the WNBA playing only like 30, 34 games a year really isn't that much anyway. That's why, you know, players go off and. and you know, go to Russia and Europe and all these other places to play more games to get more money because more games equals more money and everything like that. But I think that will continue definitely. Um, you know, I think WBA really needs to, you know, and we talked about this already in my last retrospective way back when on the WBA, which was a long time ago. Um, the WME needs to change a lot of things, and they, they have responded well um, to the video that I had um, a while back. They have changed some things, um, and they have changed it for the better. The new collective marketing agreement is great for women. You know, you get that paid maternity to leave and everything like that, and, you know, all that good stuff. You get it's at least six figures. That's more than some people can say, you know. You're only playing 34 games in the span of about three to four months, which is a lot. Then again, that's not really a lot at the same time. Cause, I mean, NBA players play like 50 games, you know, in in the span of like three months. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so will this work? Who knows? I I don't know. We'll find out. Um, WMEA fans, sound off in the comments section below. Um, subscribe because you, your, your, your league will be covered here uh, very sparingly. And we'll see um, how this in seats tournament goes. So yeah, um, this was a complete surprise that I made this video today. And we'll get back to the actual regularly scheduled videos tomorrow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for... Um, something new on the channel. Y'all take care. Peace.